Welcome back, people, to the next part of the Minecraft Redstone tutorial. That was the uh, three combination lock, and that was the XOR gate. And um, I will now teach you how to use that one in a mix with the three combination lock, not the rest. But you could actually put the rest with it if you wanted to, and we could probably do that. To make a programmable lock. Sounds a lot more fancy than it is. Now, I just set up some walls for the time being, and uh, that's what I've done. That one, that one, and that one. Ran out of dirt here. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it all on that one, and then I'm going to put one of those here. Those will be the inputs for the... Gates. Sorry. <laughs> um, just need to remember. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering how I'm flying, it's called the. Um, go on Google and search for Minecraft One Stop Mod Shop, and you will see a uh, link to the Minecraft forums with available uh, uh, downloads for mods, and uh, there is a pack called. Zombie, zombie, not zombie, but zombie. Um, without the I. And um, he has a flying mod, so worth to check out. It's worth checking out. <laughs> My God, I can't speak today. Um, so go like that, and then we just hover on in put the redstone stuff on I bet I forgot something on the last one um, no, oh, I didn't it's weird feels like I forgot something huh what did I forget? nothing <laughs> oh well just have to live with that I'm perfect. That's not that bad. Now, from this, as you saw, I just built three NOR gates, or uh, XOR gates. So, what we're going to do now is build a normal one of those. And then have that connected to a door or something. Now, what happened here? Oh, nothing happened there. So, let's put this here. Hello, sheep. So now, all up is the correct combination. Let's say we don't want all up. We want that one down. So... It is now programmed differently. Now, down is the correct. Because now, as you see, they are different. If they're not different, it will not open. So we can even have like that, and then this one also has to be down. That is the, so far, as I'm told, the easiest combination lock, or the easiest programmable combination lock. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. There is nothing more to it. Wow, only used three minutes on that about. So, what I can also show you then, since we have a bit time left over, is, uh, dispensers. Yes, dispensers, ooh. What are dispensers, you ask? See, now that's pointing at me. Looks a bit weird. Anyways. Let's put it like that. And with a pressure plate. Heard that? That ticking sound? It means it's ready to throw something at us. 
So now I put two iron doors and a leather in the middle. I can also do it like this. It doesn't really matter. Or put anything in it in any order you want. It's just the order I want it to spit it out. So first it will spit out a door. Now it will spit out leather. No, a door. Another door. Now it will spit out the leather. You can also do it like that. Now it will spit out lots of dirt. Another way to do it even quicker is to just do it is now over. That was the dispenser. If you put arrows or snowballs or slime balls in there, it will actually shoot them at you. So that's kind of cool. And um, that is about it. I'm sorry that these uh, episodes are a bit short. Anyways, so the next couple of episodes, I will be reviewing a mod that will be coming in the 1.6 update. Right now it's the 1.4.01, and right now it's just a mod, but soon it will be implemented in the game itself. And it is called the Pistons mod. You should look forward. It is fun. A lot and a lot of fun. But now, for a little surprise, I am going to wire up some TNT and we'll see how destructive I can make it. And until then, I'll see you.